All right, it's been a little while since I've done a video, although this one's been planned for a while. I just haven't bothered to do it because I've been busy with other things. This unusual machine is called the Shark Multivac. It is, as you know, the name implies, kind of a multifunction machine. It can be a handheld, it can be a stick, it can be a canister. This little button right here allows it to kind of get under things. Still a pretty, oops, still a pretty tall profile on that though. It's just the microwave. And there's a little roller for when you lay it flat like that. I remember seeing these sold new at uh, like Walmart back in the day. Hmm. Guess the cord hook doesn't swivel. All right, if I remember right, to release it from there, we have to disengage this. And we can... <laughs> Sorry. It's been a little while since I've uh, messed with this. Maybe we have to undo that. There we go. Okay, so this thing could be used as a canister, and if you were to move to... Uh, this piece here, let's see, okay, well that just slid off, so uh, you could use it as a hand vac if you had the air dam, but this did not come with the air dam, so you can't really use it that way, I mean, it would still work to a degree, but probably not as well as intended. Yeah, never lose a suction. I mean, that might be true, but its performance will decrease as used. And then we have a very typical uh, shark dirt cup here. Very reminiscent of, like, the, uh, the Navigator series. And, of course, we have foam filters and more foam filters. Typical. All right, we get that, that back together. Now it's in its canister mode, but we'll... Oh, wait a minute. I suppose we need to take some measurements, so we'll leave it like this for now. We'll take its electrical measurements, too. Before we do nozzle sting, I figured we'd just take a quick look at it here. Two swivel casters on the front, um, rubberized wheels on it, and uh, you can disconnect it by pulling back on this piece here. Or, no, I guess you push forward on it. It acts as its lock. So, it's been a while since I've tinkered with this thing. <laughs> You know, I've actually very sparingly used this thing since I finished with it. It doesn't seal to the carpet, and the reason for that is the, uh, the front of this nozzle has kind of a curvature to it, as well as a few, like, supporting, uh, well, maybe just 
no there's one there too so it's got like a few support spokes on the front of it so it keeps it from like sealing onto the carpet but you know i can't help but wonder with this well i suppose on bare floors these wheels keep those spokes off the ground but i was just thinking you know wouldn't these rub against your hard floor but no they wouldn't because of the wheels but yeah strange strange machine strange design not one i'm gonna hold on to and uh so you know that was kind of my reasoning for getting the airflow testing on this done so i can resell it and have the data yeah weird little machine from euro pros or sharks early days like i said i remember seeing them brand new at like walmart and just thinking what a weird little thing <laughs>